Hey there, my name is Rachel and I am your Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant and I wanted to hop on real quick um, and do some makeup and show you a new product that I'm trying out. Hold on just one second. There. So We'll see how far I can make it before Aubrey realizes that I'm not out there watching the Smurfs with her, which doesn't sound like very long. I think she just figured it out. Um, so, so far, all I've done is wash my face. And this is what I wanted to try. So this is the TimeWise Repair Filler. Deep Wrinkle Filler. So, I have this wrinkle on my forehead. Actually, I have a few wrinkles on my forehead. And I wanted to try this out to see how it worked. So you just add a little bit in the line before your moisturizer. And then you just tap it in there like a little bondo for your wrinkle. And then you let it, you let it dry. So I wanted to see if it worked. I figured, might as well try it on here, right? Okay, so after that, I am going to do my TimeWise day cream. So I wanted to, um, jump on and try out the new fall products for you. And I've been, haven't been on for a while. So I thought a nice rainy day would be a good day to do it. All right, so, so far I've done my serum and my day cream next is the Mary Kay foundation primer so when you're doing your primer you only need about a pea size and then you start in the center and then work your way out This has light diffusers, SPF, and it absorbs oil. So after that, I'm going to use the TimeWise 3D Luminous. And you just put, again, pea size on the back of your hand. And I'm going to use the foundation brush. These brushes are really cool because they tell you what they're for <laughs> right on them so you don't forget. And then I'm gonna start in the center again and work my way out. So this one is, I'm an ivory. This is 160N, because I am pale, no matter what time of the year it is. So I'm avoiding my eye area. I'm doing that on purpose, because I'm gonna use my under eye corrector. Funny faces help when you're applying your makeup. All right. And then, 
So you work from the middle on your way out, but then when you're done, make sure you brush down so those little hairs aren't sticking out. All right, so we've got foundation after primer, and now my Miracle in a Wand, my under eye corrector. To get rid of these hot mess bags. So this is a peach tint, and that is to neutralize any darkness. You always want to use your ring finger because it's the weakest finger and it's very delicate area under your eyes. And you always want to make sure you get in the crease on the inside. Ta-da, just like that, it's gone. I'm gonna do the other side. Again, making sure I get on the inside of my nose. Like that. All right, then I use my translucent powder. I don't know if you can, there are li ooh, <laughs> little holes um, that distributes the powder. And then I just swirl it on the cover. This also has light diffusers and absorbs any oil throughout the day. Starting from the inside and work your way out. Just like that. Right. So now to the stuff that you haven't seen yet. We have new foil eyeshadows, foil eyeshadow duos for the fall. So we have pinks and we have greens. Um, this one's, this one's copper and this one is pink and purple rose. So I think I'm going to do pink today. So I'm going to use the lighter color and I'm using my all over eyeshadow brush. I do my lids. to use my crease brush which has it's kind of slanted there to do the darker and I'm gonna do it on the outside crease want to blend it together. Like that. I think I'm even. <laughs> and whoops, sorry about that. And then we have 
the dual brush cream blush stick. So if you can, I don't know if you can see the difference there. There's a shimmer for the highlight. It's like a dual, and then your pink for your blush. Use the highlight on top, like that. I have my finishing spray. So you shake this up four or five times and then you want to spray eight inches away from your face and you want to do it in an X and a T kind of motion. Like that. So that's going to hold your makeup. And then I use, I barely have any eyelashes so I use the primer first. You can also use this for just a clear mascara as well. And then I use Lash Intensity. It's my favorite. Um, see it has lots of extra bristles it's rounded so it curls at the same time and adds some extra volume so I'm a firm believer that your mascara goes on better if you make a funny face so I will not disappoint and then you start oh and get it right on your eyelid good job Start as close to the base of your eye as possible and work your way out, wiggling. And talking at the same time is not easy. boo-boo. And then last but not least, I am using our new lip gloss and I have pink ballerina here. So I love the tip on this. You can see that. It's angled. And there you have it. It's not sticky. This was pretty easy and fast. Um, and I hope it was helpful. If you catch the replay, then just let me know in the comments. Have a great day.